Hey, good morning, good people. It's Kimmy. It's Tuesday, July the 7th, I believe, and it is 3.14 a.m. Like I told y'all, I do my best work in the a.m. Where it's where my ideas, my epiphanies, and all that come. Um, I get a chance to think and just work and hustle, advertise, and do all that stuff to try to be a better person, a more profitable, productive person and right now I'm actually on Experian.com seeing if I could boost my credit score um, because it's important to me right now I just wanted to come on real quick and um, upload this video and um, share some more things uh, with you share my life with you um, the things that I'm working on and what I'm working on right now one thing that's important to me is um, you know being being able to be a better provider um, for my children and being a better provider for you know the future and um what i'm doing right now i'm on um like i said experience.com trying to give my little um you know a credit score a boost and um you know it's really um really got me upset let me talk about something you know this is why i always say be kind to people you don't know the burdens that people carry and i was going through it earlier i want to share this with you i was going through it earlier and i had to go into prayer and i was just like god you know i'm you know in need of a financial and a spiritual breakthrough um i'm just trying to you know do some really positive things in my life and you know put some really positive things in place and because of the woman that i am um, I've allowed myself to do things for people that affected my credit score, um, that have affected my, um, you know, financial, uh, stability. Um, one thing I did was I leased a car for my oldest child and, um, actually it was a truck and, um, she had lost her job and the truck ended up being repossessed. So that's actually on my credit score and, and it doesn't, it's, it's horrible um around this time last year um i had a credit score of 630 which is pretty good it's not the best but, but excuse me it's pretty good and um leased a truck actually a year before last i'm sorry i want to say 2017 going into 2018 leased a truck the truck got repossessed maybe about um seven eight months ago so i have that on my credit and um it kind of bothered me because i'm 44 years old you know i am a business owner i'm trying to you know revamp my businesses and you know um just trying to do better i'm trying to just you know provide some wisdom and security for my future because i have big plans you know um i do plan to you know, I want to be a homeowner someday. I, you know, I plan to get married someday. And these are some of the things that you need to take into consideration. And like I said earlier, I'm not going to allow anybody to water down my videos. I'm here and I'm speaking my truth. And I'm speaking about my dreams and my desires. And one of my dreams and desires is to, um, you know, get married one day. And I think that sometimes people don't look at the long haul when they're getting married or they're getting into a committed relationship. Um, there's certain things that I think that should be established, of course, with the, you know, love, respect, loyalty, uh, commitment, um, honesty, and stuff like that. Um, but when you're getting together with someone and you have dreams and different expectations and stuff, you know, things like a good credit score or building on making your credit score better, those things count. And that's what I'm working on right now. I have a really, really, really um, poor credit score right now. And it's like really bothering me because I'm at the age right now where I should be able to take out a small loan if I wanted to or even, you know, you know, try to purchase a house or automobile or whatever. But, you know, that situation has me so not really in debt, but, you know, in debt because I still owe on this vehicle. I'm going to try to find a... Um, Try to find, you know, what I still owe on this truck because it was repossessed and it went to auction and I still um, owe some things on it. So, you know, that's really like taking me down because like I said, at my age right now, I should be, you know, able to, you know, do certain things with my credit and I'm unable to do that. And it's not to any fault of my own. It's for me you know, trying to help someone that I love and care about. But I'm just trying to regroup and get it together. And I'm at a, a really 
stuck in a hard place. So if anybody has any um, suggestions for me or any, um, you know, advice for me, because um, I've actually, I have a budget right now. There's certain things that I'm working on. Like I said, I'm trying to get my clothing line off the ground. Um, and not so much clothing line. I have a heat press machine, so I want to, you know, start doing t-shirts and stuff like that and then develop my own line. And I have a budget, um, of what I, you know, need for that. So I'm working towards that budget. Then I have a, um, you know, the budget for my bills, utilities and stuff like that. So I've come up with, you know, different amounts that I need for different things and I'm working towards it. But... Um, I'm in a situation too, and I'm just being honest, y'all. I'm in a situation where you don't know the sacrifices people have to make on a daily basis. And um, there's some sacrifices that I had to make um, to better my um, living situation or my family situation. Um, and, you know, sometimes when we, we, we make these sacrifices, it's like one or the other. We make a sacrifice to do better, but it takes away from something else that we may need. And one of the sacrifices that I'd say, I don't really like to call it a sacrifice, but it is what it is. I actually uh, was offered a housing choice voucher, and I was like, I'm going to take that. Well, um, it got to the point where for me to, you know, take the voucher or whatever, it almost was, actually it did expire. And the only way I could get my housing choice voucher, which if you guys don't know what a housing choice voucher is, there's so many programs out here within the government. I'm all over the world. Um, I guess you know you guys have heard of Section 8, housing choice voucher, uh, rapid, re rapid rehousing. Anyway, I was blessed because that is a blessing. It is a blessing to work all your life or struggle all your life and work and this and this and pay your bills and have someone to say, hey, step in and say, hey, um, for a minute, I will take... Um, responsibility for hey good people it's Kimmy I'm back sorry for the video interruption but what I was talking about um, so I was blessed with a housing choice voucher and the ex voucher was about to expire the only way that I could get that voucher was to get it under um, a law or whatever called reasonable accommodations is where you had to prove that for some reason um, it took a lot longer than uh, six months to um, found a you know affordable housing or whatever and um because it did take me more than six months I had this plan my credit score was bad I had this plan that I was going to get this money I was going to reboost my credit score which I did but I didn't re realize that the credit didn't work like that I thought that I was going to be able to go get this money pay on my credit pay everything off and my credit score would pop up it did not happen and it did not happen in six months so my um, voucher expired so the only way that I could get my voucher which um was very important to me because anybody and like we're going to keep this real anybody comes and says hey i'll pay a, a, a big bulk of your rent um forever or for a minute or whatever you're going to take that offer um well most people are because we're all struggling out here anyway so to get my voucher extended for another three months i had to prove something called a reasonable accommodations which is they had to they said well do you have any medical reasons which would hinder you from um, being able to, you know, go out and look for a place or whatever, whatever. So I do, I do have something called um, fibromyalgia, which is like a nerve damage disease. I have asthma. I also have something called a rheumatoid arthritis. I have a couple things that I don't like to claim going on. But anyway, they were like, okay. So with getting that, they were like, okay. They extended my voucher for three more months. I was blessed. I got my voucher and um, I found a place and I'm in my place. Well, with that being said, I have what they call a voucher, a non-working voucher. My voucher says, you can have this wonderful place and we'll pay a bulk of your rent, but you can't work. So you guys know, you know, I'm doing the food thing. I'm trying to revamp my food business. I'm trying to redo this clothing line, you know, just t-shirt or whatever, whatever. But I have a voucher that says I can't work, so I'm not even unable to file taxes. So I'm in a predicament right now where, and it's really made me depressed because I'm like, I'm not one to sit here and not do anything. Um, I like to be able to file my taxes at the end of the year because it does help, you know, boost my credit score when I add in the different things that I paid and I paid off. But I'm in, just knowing this predicament right now where I'm like, dang, what do I do? 
you know, I took this voucher, which is a blessing, which is great, you know, so me and my children can have a wonderful place to live and, and be secured and, you know, get that support with paying, you know, my rent, but it's like, I can't work. So what am I going to do? You know, people have suggested to me that I go on Craigslist and, um, you know, find jobs that are under the table, this, 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 but for me, I am so ambitious. It's just not enough. I haven't been able to find anything and it's like really weighing down on me because I have so many dreams and aspirations. Like right now, I said, I'm working on boosting my credit um, because I do want to, you know, so have some type of financial stability for my children, for my future husband, my, you know, children, future stepkids, whatever, you know, or not or whatever. I just want to be able to, to pull my weight. Um, and oh, good people. I'm sorry. The damn video got interrupted again. But as I was saying, I'm just trying to provide a better future for my children and, um, you know, just for my future period. So, you know, I'm not sure uh, what I'm going to do. Um, yeah, so that's one of the things I'm working on. I'm working on being a better provider for my children and for my future. So, that's what I'm working on now. But you guys, thank you for your support. I love you, love you, love you. Keep watching, keep sharing, keep doing everything that you do for me. It's um, really, 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 really... Um, appreciate it <laughs> believe it or not you guys um love someone for real love someone on purpose but love yourself first because when you love yourself first you set the tone and the standard for how you want to be loved for real and remember to keep it 100 it's not that hard that your word is your bond and that's all you have at the end of the day and remember that you stand when you stand for nothing you fall for everything so take heed be wise and um take care you guys have a happy tremendous profitable um, fruitful Tuesday. And, um, I love you guys for real. Take care.